Hi, how are you today? So today we are going to talk about what to do when you are feeling like your loved ones are not supporting your goals or not supporting your desire to make a change in your life. Whether that change be you know, a healthy change, uh, starting a health and fitness program, or maybe a change to your career, any kind of change, you're not feeling that support there. You know, maybe you are um, hearing side comments from your family, from your friends, from coworkers, or maybe you're just feeling that the energy is just off. Maybe that's it, you just feel those vibes. Or maybe it's something that you are believing. You just believe in your heart, in your mind, that I, you just have that gut feeling. You just believe that they do not support you. You've never heard them actually say it. You know, there's, there's no concrete evidence, but you just don't believe that they will support you in your desire to change. So then if that belief is there, then you do not feel supported. So it doesn't matter really where it comes from. If something was actually said or something's just off, plain and simple, you don't feel supported. And in order to make a change, we really need to have that support. Being that lone wolf out there to reach any goals, to make any change in our lives, oh my gosh, that is possible, absolutely, but insanely difficult, heck yes. So I want you to, Give me an emoji, give me some sort of hearts if you have been there where you've wanted to make a change, you've wanted to reach some sort of goal in your life, but you just not felt that support from either family, from somebody you've loved, or from friends, if you've just been there. So it doesn't matter where it comes from, if you've heard it or not, but I've got six things that you can do to really, um, you know, help to help to um, have your friends and family support you and help yourself feel supported in making those changes in reaching your goals. So let's get started with those six things, okay? Your first one is to share your why. So share with those that are around you why it is that you wanna make this change. And you might be thinking right off the bat, well, I don't know exactly why it is I want to make this change. Or you might even be feeling like if it's like a health and fitness goal, gosh, it feels sort of superficial why I want to make this change. I just want to lose the weight. That doesn't feel deep enough um, for my friends and family to really care. Well, so that's where we want to start to dig deeper and we just want to keep asking ourselves questions. Okay, so I want to lose 10 pounds. Why do I want to lose 10 pounds? Okay, I want to feel better in those jeans that are sitting in my drawer. Okay, why do I want to feel better in those jeans? Okay, well, there was that time that we went out to dinner with my girlfriends and I just felt so uncomfortable. Why did I feel? And you just keep asking those questions to keep digging deeper to come to the reason why you want to make this change in your life. And then you share that with those people in your life with your family, with your friends, with those people that you are wanting that support from. Tell them why you're wanting to make these changes, why it's important to you. The next thing, number two, is we want to ask for their support. So, so many times we kind of just assume that they're going to give us support because they love us, because they're in our lives but it just doesn't work that way. You know, it's the same thing with us. We don't just up and give them support. We need to know what they want from us. Same thing. They need to know what they need from us. Did I say that right? <laughs> they need to know what they, I cannot get it correct. You get what I'm trying to say. So 
what do we need from them? That's what I'm trying to say here. So we need to ask for their support and we need to tell them specifically what do we need. So now that we know our why, what specifically do we need? So if we're going for a health and fitness goal, maybe it's something like, okay, if it's afternoon, I need for you, my husband, to tell me okay, have you done your workout today? I know at this time of the day, it can be really hard, you're feeling sluggish, but you're gonna feel so much better. Can I help you, you know, get motivated? You know, just that little reminder, remind me in the afternoon, please. Remind me in those afternoons when I'm feeling really down, when I'm feeling sluggish. So tell them that specifically what I need from you. So have you, after you dig into that why, you tell, that person that is important in your life, what specifically you need them to support you with. Number three, let them know that this is right for you. So you have decided that you want to make this change and you just need to say, it's okay that this is right for me. They should want to support you. They love you. And you just need to own this and feel proud of it. And you know what? You just need to let them know that this is right for me. And I do not, you need to let them know also that you are not going to expect them to want to join you in whatever you are choosing to do. So sometimes <clears throat> I believe that people um, don't, often support us in our changes that we're making in our lives because they become fearful that we are going to encourage them to join us in whatever we're doing. And they may not be ready for that in their own lives, even though they might be, you know, somebody who's super duper close to us, like our husbands um, or our um, parents or a very close friend. But you need to just let them know, this is right for me. And I don't expect you to join in and do this with me. I guarantee you though, as you make this change in your life, especially something like a healthy change, through osmosis over time, they're going to start to make some healthy changes for themselves as well. Okay, number four, be okay with being different. So as you make this change, you've already decided that this is right for you and that you don't expect your loved one to join along. That means that probably for a period of time, you're going to be on a different path at least a slightly different path, right? You've gotta be okay with being different. You know what? That is the beauty of being human. We are all different and that is what makes us so awesome. This is your time to shine. So I want you to just be okay with being different and this is one of the the awesome aspects with any changes that we are making in our lives, whether it be health and fitness, whether it be reaching a new career goal, um, is we want to uh, incorporate personal development, personal growth, so that we can become okay with being different and it doesn't start to bog and weigh us down. Number five, we want um, to remember this, their pushback is not about you their pushback is about themselves. Them feeling guilty about whatever it is that they are not changing in their own lives. So it is not about you. When it comes to making health and fitness changes in our lives, oftentimes people in our lives will start to push back and um, not support us or want to make us feel guilty for those changes that we are making because they're not ready to make those changes and they are feeling guilty about that themselves. That's just the nature of humans, it happens. And so we need to remember it is not about us, it is not about you. It is about whatever is going on for them and we need to respect and honor what's going on for them, but you also need to respect and honor what is going on for you and the changes you are ready to make. All right, last one, number six. Have a response prepared 
in advance. Yeah, you're going to get that pushback. So you're making some health and fitness changes. You're sitting down for a meal and you're ready to eat something healthy. Maybe you're saying, I don't want to have an alcoholic beverage tonight. I want to have water instead. And nobody else sitting down is understanding that. You need to have a response prepared. So, you know, here's some quick responses. Just, you know, you can just put it into your own words, but be prepared ahead of time and then it just makes it so easy. So you then don't fall under peer pressure. You then don't feel like you are not being supported. So something you could say is making these changes have made such a difference in my life and I wanna keep going. Making these changes have made such a difference in my life and I wanna keep going, I feel really good, done. This is my form of self-care. I respect my priorities and I respect yours and I appreciate if you'd respect mine. So, you know, you can just be like, hey, I respect you and I appreciate if you respect me back. Cool? So put it into your own words, but have something prepared in advance because yeah, the pushback's gonna come. It's just the nature of things, right? So. That will allow you to support yourself and allow your friends and family to learn that you are wanting their support back. Now, the last thing, I do have a little bonus thing, but before I do that, let's just recap really quick. So number one, we're going to share our why. Number two, we're going to ask for their support. Number three, we're going to let them know that this is right for you. Number four, we're going to be okay with being different. Number five, their pushback. It's not about you. It's about them. And number six, bah, have a response prepared in advance. And then bonus, surround yourself with like-minded people. I have a group that's starting November 1st. That's in like two days, okay? <laughs> and it is like-minded people where we are all supporting one another on making health and fitness changes in our lives, living a healthy, balanced life. And so we are supporting one another 24-7. It is a great sounding board anytime you are not feeling that support in your everyday life and giving you the tools so that you know how to feel that self-support and gain that support from your loved ones in real life. So I want you to go ahead and drop an emoji below or go ahead and send me a message too. I am going to be sharing the replay of this video and when I do that, I will put a link there for you. So if you want, you can go ahead and hop over to that link and we can set up a time to chat to uh, get a plan started just for you on making those healthy changes in your life. All right, I hope these tips were super helpful to you. And um, yes, the support is there. There's self-support, there is like-minded people support, and there is support within your loved ones. All right, have a great, happy Friday, and happy Halloween. Bye-bye.